Fala galera, tranquilo? Estou aqui no início do vídeo para convidar todos vocês para participar da nossa comunidade Aleartes, um grupo relacionado especialmente para CSGO. Vamos trocar bastante ideia sobre o jogo, sorteios, lobbies, mix com a galera e outras novidades exclusivas para todos que estiveram no grupo. Então não perde tempo, é de graça e infelizmente as vagas são limitadas. Link vai estar na descrição do vídeo, basta descer a tela aí e entrar, fechou? Vejo todos vocês lá, é nóis guys! Looks to give them B, although there might be a little bit of resistance here from Taco. Yeah, this could be easier said than done. Down goes the first, a cold zero falling will make things a little bit tougher. Phelps adding more to the tallow, the tally, may I say, with Taco. Torn apart by the Glocks, and they still might do. There's a bit of a hunt coming in. <laughs> Lau, nice shots, okay. He's getting a bit of money out of this as well, so that's always a nice little addition. And Ooh. although one player looks to have gone down, I don't think coming anyone. in from outside, so yeah, this is pretty troubling. Doomow does at least spot the flank of Phelps. Taco manages to take out the lurk of Woody as well, so they're catching these stragglers on either side of the entrance to the bomb site right now. As they were trying to, I believe, just wait out that smoke towards main. This is trouble and it's shifted back in favor of Zero Zero Nation for a moment. that doesn't last too long though. VSM able to drop one. Lato shown his position now could be in a bit of trouble, but he has the help of Paco as the Molly goes Get down. Get yourself uh, warmed up and come back a bit angry. We'll see if he can do that. Lato gets caught as he tries to aggress Hut. The bomb though dropped by this flank of Taco. I'm not too sure if he's going to expect another coming in from the roof here. May have actually heard the scope though of history. As indeed he drops the flash in and oh. this is perfect. I believe though they should be able to recover. Yeah, Phelps tucked in here is the difference maker. Potentially low health though. Hoping that a distraction will serve him well there from heaven and it works out Season perfectly. Zero's a nation. They are slow to get alive, get kicking. Dumal, Taco, one apiece. Dumal making a double. Bomb dropped as well. Now has a lot to work with. Numbers favor the CT side, but maybe not momentarily. He's made trigger discipline. Oh, but he can't quite make it the second. Lucozzi had the room to work with. And now he's VSM all alone in a one versus three. Well, quickly checks off the first of the three. Unfortunately, it is the one that was already low. Still two full health players. He's got to players. He's got to deal with in the time, and it's just unfortunate. already done more than enough. History sitting in the Molotov, taking a bit of damage, walking straight in towards NQC, and there we go. The new boy on the block, finding some final success. We know this guy can frag. We know what he's capable of doing. Of course, previously with nine Z, Phelps will continue to tick along. Now the numbers brought level once again. What's the plan of action? Taco in a very aggressive position. He needs to be careful. If he gets caught off guard, that cracks open the B-Ramp position. And Dumao falling means outside now becomes vulnerable. Yeah, it looks like they're going to drop the bomb back around towards Lobby, though, instead. So, yeah, the split in towards A is the goal. I don't think we've really seen this yet, but either way, the read is in place from 0-0 Nation. NQZ decides he doesn't want to wait around either. Pushes hook. Swats one down with the op and Lato, despite being blinded, somehow gets away with that kill on Luca. I think who was team blinded as well. So an all-around unfortunate situation. It's all on the Phelps' shoulders now. And while a decent bit of damage on Lato is done, pretty low himself though at this point. He's going to need to finish this one off fast and well, somehow manage to recover the bomb that I don't think is really going to be all that recoverable. Although Taco's alone on the op right now. The other player, I believe, up on top of Silo. Weird positioning. Well, now for Phelps. It feels like a lost cause already. Yeah, Taco see him off. It looked dead in awards, of uh, course, the main. Nice, nicely timed as the smoke, I believe, faded, faded away. Words, why are they so difficult? Right they now. Still want this door push. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they still seem to like they want to dive down vent. That seems to be a final plan of action. And I was oh. going to say, Doom, I can stop it, and now we can't. Bomb can get planted. Also now recovers himself a rifle. Spotted at least one player up in heaven. They should be able to confirm both are coming in. A solid dink. Manages to distract for Phelps. And, well, it looks like Taco's hopes and dreams are shot at this point. He's mm. somehow turned on its head. And, I mean, both players were already relatively damaged, right? Yeah. No, exactly. And he just continues to be a nuisance. But they're popping out towards the A site. They've got B. And VSM will make it work. Lato will fall. But down will go the bomb. And, of course, Woody will follow in the same suit. A 3k for Dumao as well. AWP collected. And potentially Phelps as a masterclass, but this might be him dead in the water here. He's been having a fantastic game, though. If anyone can do it right now, this is the man, unfortunately, though, pinned in from every possible angle. He had no time. They were all kind of peeking, though. Fluxo, but sort of the same the other way. Whoever wins this round breaks the back of the other. And Lucozzi will open things up for the first. Looking for doubles as well. And, of course, we'll get it. A two-for-one special. Can he make it a three-piece? Of course he can. And QZ will fall. That's the ace site cracked open like a walnut. And well, Bob's your uncle. There's a nation left down to two in a two versus four retake. It's bar about to go down momentarily. This one should be done as Phelps will add already more 
to that extremely impressive tally. And Cold Zero, I think it's safe to say he'll Holy go for a Masker right now. Phelps, please don't tell me. Just flying out towards Red Crate. A lot of space. Crate did an opening kill for him. Phelps cannot be stopped right now. Cold Zero needs a Master Claw. Needs multiple kills, but he'll get nothing. VSM for a double. This has just been perfection of the highest regard. Potentially, we can see 11 rounds at the half as well. And it's looking like exactly that. Only Taco to deny in a one versus three with an MP9, but it's looking like Fluxo will find their 11th momentarily. And yes, they will lose. They actually need a miracle to get back into this. VSM gonna be tested. And Taco gets a jumping one type of the Glock at close range. Do my one more. Okay, not a bad start, Dean. Yeah, not to mention the fact that he was also blind. So a very successful endeavor for Taco considering all the circumstances. And well, with a man advantage, 0-0 zero, zero nation off to a decent enough start. History, the time in here is horrible for them, for him, rather, as they come out the door Next as well. Round. I think personally, I'd rather see them take the eco and just aim towards a, a strong buy early, but I'm not too sure that, that the, the, the play will get. I, I agree, right? I think that may be going to make something work in their favor. Now, though, not the case. What are you keeping on of what he got? So I have jewels to work with in towards... Making this ground cost and making sure they use their nades and that they waste some time and actually managing to make their way towards Ooh. outside. The drop down was risky for Doomow and unfortunately the damage from Phelps ensures that the fall is going to finish him off. Yeah. Nice bit of damage there. Here's your final one of Thank you, Z. Cold Zero doing his best. Couple of taps. Gets one. There's information on a second as well. As long as Phelps stays alive, he can just deny that rotation coming through. It's all that counts because Woody will double up for support. Finding one. Then Phelps pounces. Oh, Attacko dropping. Safe to say for Lato. This feels dead in the water, but maybe not. One versus four. This would be the clutch of the game so far. Maybe one of the clutches of the qualifiers. There's not to be Lukosi other ideas. Lato will fall and finally, Cheeky boy, look at this. We'll be caught by the flash. That nearly, and it should have cost him his life, but it doesn't. Cold Zero can't quite confirm the spray. And through the flames, NQZ, what is that idea? What is the call to action there? A dink on towards Lato too. Phelps is at a... Get her a pretty solid buy out of this. There shouldn't really be any weaknesses. The drop from Lao coming in as well, then slowing it and waiting for the response because they didn't know if anyone had made it across secret. It's only now, of course, that they spot that the cross is coming in and Lucas somehow gets away with two despite at that point pretty much being pinced, uh, pincered in, rather. I don't know how he gets away with it. Either way, it's going to have to be a desperate play from the final three players here for Zero Zero Nation. Taco somehow pulls back one. Although I think that was up towards A, just cutting off one of the lurkers. It's not going to be too useful than trying to actually get this bomb onto the site, as you can see. And it falls apart. It's only Taco on that A bomb site left standing. And I'm no not looking too comfortable. Swing it out towards ramp. VSM for one, for two. Easy. Can he make it three? Of course he can. Looking for more, but he can't quite get it. History should be able to see things off. It's going through the smoke. Will actually cost him his life. History finding one more. He goes left with 15 points of HP. I don't think winning the round is really within the realm of possibility, though, and unfortunately, no kills at all going to be taken. Tilty, though, going down well. The Molly up close on secret stops any info from being obtained. They're actually going to try and wrap up close on main. I like the idea to split in towards A. Unfortunately, Woody is ready for it. He's gotten himself two kills already before trying a little bit of a change in the smoke, which falls true. But it's just such a disjointed push, really, from Zero Zero Nation. No one's ready for the trades. NQZ was still coming down from the roof as well, and they have just gotten... Destroyed. It's a sick... Quer ganhar 5 dólares de graça? Então entre agora no Skins Monkey, logo com sua Steam utilizando o link da descrição e clique em receber gratuitamente 5 dólares. E pronto. Se você tiver skins que não curte mais no seu inventário, o site é perfeito para você trocar suas skins que já enjoou em skins novas do seu gosto. Você vai ganhar até 40% de bônus utilizando o cupom ARTS para suas trades e dar uma moral pro canal, né? Agora não perde tempo, bora farmar suas skins novas para fazer aqueles highlights insanos. E lembrando, todas as trades de fevereiro vão concorrer ao sorteio exclusivo. Para participar, é só enviar um print da sua trade no meu Instagram. Vamos junto, guys, e vamos para o vídeo de hoje. Ah, uh, that's one way to put it. Very quick mid play coming in by Zero Zero Nation as well. This is a change in pace in comparison to what we've seen from them on that T side of Nuke, and I'm liking it. Let's see though, because there's still dual Barettas to overcome as they make their way in towards this A bomb site. It's two for VSM. Lato, at least for a moment, kept the numbers equal, but it shifted back again into the two on two. Fluxo somehow managing to get a solid response to what looked like a horrid start on mid, and now flipping it on its head. It's all left on Lato. Looks like history should be able to spot him as he makes his way around oh. heavy. Oh yeah, bomb goes down. I mean, that's the positive thing already. Woody, hey, you'll find the kill. That's where maybe the wind in the sails would slightly change. Ooh. Whoa, okay. okay. 
Pistol's actually finding some success though with again this aggression just being relentless from Fluxo. And this time it's at the very least keeping things expensive. Only a lurker though that has kept the eye of one player busy in towards the A bomb site though. There's already three waiting. It's a massive stack from Fluxo. And 0 0 Nation were just not expecting it. Phelps and Woody tear them apart. VSM dealing with Taco as well, leaving NQZ alone. And he's still got two of them waiting on this bomb site. And. Well, really, no hope with the time that's available to him. Never mind, nice shot on history. That may allow him to back away and at least save the op. That would probably be worthwhile. Maybe if he can, right? Thing or the Oh, Phelps, that is a corker of a shot. A bit of work before they can manage to force that out of them. Luca, though, going to find a very quick push in towards the B-bomb site. One before tucking Ooh. away. Unfortunately, VSM wasn't quite as fortunate, but Luca is still putting up a pretty solid fight here on the bomb site. Forced out by the Molly to take another peek, still comes out alive as the smoke eventually goes down. But the patience for Cold Zero pays off. He'd been pushed in for a while, waiting for that eventual peak to come true. But Woody and History now tucked in together towards B Main, and it's going to be a rough one to be honest. Both teams just slowing things down, waiting to spot exactly who is going to go ahead and show themselves first. And it's Woody who does so. History tucked in. They weren't expecting the second player to be so close. Molly, unfortunately, not going to do anything to actually stop that bomb plant, though. So it goes down, and again, he's going to have to hit some fantastic shots to make this retake happen. Molly, indeed, put in. There's still plenty of time, though, and Woody's taking some risky deeks. I won't lie. NQZ, I was going to say, is hoping that would have... Never mind, though. One, two. One of the better rounds Fluxo have had themselves in in quite a while, although with the damage that's been done, I wouldn't say it's for sure. And Cold Zero is turning things around. Was very quiet back on Nuke, so this is good to see. Swinging in. Cold Zero finding one more. Two versus two. The bomb will get planted with just enough time to work with his VSM rotating through main. He's been held by Doom out. Low HP on towards Luca. Same can be said for Cold Zero. This is uncomfortable, but Doom out will make it work. And for Lukosi, he's out of there. He was not clearing out areas with Molly's and such, so. Not being too aggressive is probably a good idea. That was very close for Phelps. Contact actually going to be found though down in the canals instead. As Luca falls, Cold Zero again with the entry. He's been having so much success here on Anubis so far. Seems to, be a, to, seems to be a map that he's taken a liking to. Unfortunately, the advantage doesn't stand for very long as Taco falls. At this point, though, I was going to say Phelps doesn't want to get too hungry and stick around. So makes the jump across, takes a little bit of damage in the process. History actually extending now with an advantage being put in their favor. And, well, Phelps gets taken down and, well, shuts me up real quick. Yeah, now, three versus three. Smoke's coming through as well. Time's ticking. 25 seconds left to work with. Zero's Nation, they need to go now. They got to push through the smoke as well. It will dissipate with just enough time for that bomb to get down. This is going to look dicey. And history in for the flank as well. Off the back of that to double. Bomb gets dropped. And surely now, this one cannot be for salvage. They cannot be found in their favor. Smoke will come through. They're trying to loom over. But a forward to the hands of VSM. Tapping away. On the Jiggle Peaks as well. Trying to find a kill. But now we have to fall away. History. Well, Adam 2. And that's the bomb as well. Surely this round falling apart at the seams. Or so I say. Cold Zero and Taco combine. Rolling back the years. They find yet one more. But the forward to the hands of VSM. Who looks like he wants to make it. A two for one. Cold Zero. 38 points of HP. Back spotted as well. But it's Woody who will see it up. 8 and 7 at the too heavy on the bomb site already. There's one over toward mid that's going to be able to rotate in quickly. And, well, let's see what can be found long range on that USP. Taco has the advantage initially. Think up, though. Things do get a little bit harder. NQ finally showing himself. Revealing there is definitely two of them on the bomb site. But the Glocks now have closed the distance. And that's when it gets so difficult to handle. Fluxo have traded it down to the 3-on-3. Three -three. Unfortunately, they've still got a dual breader to deal with. And everyone is already pushed up on them with no room to breathe as that bomb goes down. They just didn't have the space to form any sort of an after plant, and it's just chaos that they... Now set him up, all right? Cole Zeri would have been heard there as well, but now he's closed. Double swing. Very good call coming through. That space created. And numbers brought back level once again. History not opting to pick up the gun. He just walked past the history. Okay, no, he can opt for the deagle. Now he'll collect it. Okay. I'm going to say, I thought that might have been the priority. That's the doubling back. Taco could make it messy. But VSM, again, lightning fast reactions. And our latter has to go up huge here. A double needed. And he'll find it, of course. Nearly good for three as well. But VSM sets up once again. AUG, outrange. Duma will do enough. The bomb. Tapped, but not stuck. It might be a priority to make sure this bomb goes down. And once again, we'll give them some money to work with. But now they set up all down to VSM. Needing a miracle, a masterclass here. A quad kill needed. 
But that's sort of range, at close range, NQZ. It's a very, very slow push from Flux, so they're given time for this rotation to come in. Well, already for Phelps, for one. On towards Lato, numbers brought even, but Dumal sits in close. And NQZ is all trying to be a nuisance playing around that smoke as it dissipates. This can get messy, as History and the AK will step up. Now, of course, the smoke will deny a lot of that presence, but Dumal makes it one more. And that's an important kill. Staying alive is all that matters, because by the time the rotation come in, Woody will get the bomb down. But is he expecting the flank to come through? It's a one versus two. But Woody, his life... It's a, it's a cannon fodder situation, but it's for information. That's all that matters. Lukosi's having a post barn, which is all that matters most, and he's going to struggle to cross, and Molotov could keep him at bay, and Lukosi will have to reposition off the back of it. Time is ticking, but it's such an open plant, and MP9 at range tapping. Oh my gosh, Lukosi, that's risky. But now surely, surely he'll be fine for me. Tap onto it. Full blind as well for Taco. No kit. Oh, he doesn't have a kit, may I say, but no time. And that's it. Yeah, might have actually had the opportunity there if he had a stuck it initially because Luca didn't re-peek once he tapped the bomb, but I, I think that was because he probably didn't even hear You're it. Off. The... Already Phelps. Trying to make a difference here, but Lukosi will fall. Phelps can trade. There we go. This is the guy we look towards in terms of making a difference. Flash will catch turns from it. And one crossing as well. Oh my god. That's risky. They don't really expect VSM. Quick trades. It's Lato. Keep the numbers in favor of the CT side. And he's just beckoning over for support. He's hoping that they get there in time. It might cost his life, but he'll find yet one more reload on it. And the pistol at close range. It won't be enough. History can't quite see it off. Oh, on stop. this T side, so it's a big loss in the early stages of the round. Called Zero, though, hoping to extend that advantage even further for Zero Zero Nation. And Luca just completely unaware. He should be told that that's a possibility with the deep smoke pushed up there on History. Why is that not called? Or did he just not listen that he presumed that the aggression wasn't in it, it seemed to me like it might have been a bit of mis miscommunication oh calls there at taco i mean this has been an absolute massacre but a really bad round from flux so like you said i, I think the comms seem to be a complete mess because there's so many gaps in the armor that are starting to open up. It's a flawless round, in fact. Oh, it's an got dinked through the edge of the smoke there by Doom as well. And History, I don't think it's gonna... I was gonna say, I don't think he's gonna find success as the smoke fades. But never mind. Somehow gets the drop on Doom and Taco. What the hell is this from History? Ooh. Going absolutely nutty and just single-handedly, I think, keeping Fluxo in with a shot at keeping themselves in this game. Oh this my great. god, and nearly gets a freebie. More will force Taco into the open. He's dropped the hand to Lukosi. Numbers brought level, but time is ticking. 45 seconds. And do they clear the close position? No, they don't. Bomb goes down, but it can't be made into a double. Once again, three versus three. Numbers level. As the bomb goes down and a post plant set up. But what can be found from here? As Lato takes first contact and will find the first kill on towards History. Postpawn set up strong. It's all down to one man. Phelps can't see it as well. This is essentially Zero Nation play for Matt Point. Which could be pushing us towards that decider. Flash will come over the corner, but Phelps will find the first quick trade. Dumal getting out of dodge, but a lot of damage done towards him as Cold Zero will step up to save him. He's desperately staying alive, and he'll just about do so. That is one positive for Fluxo, but they're going to need to hit some quick shots with the damage that's been done to them already. Here we go, creeping forward. History is the first one to find contact against Taco. The M4 though reigns supreme and well, they had a so bad again. map one, and we were thinking maybe this is the you know a day off from him. He's found that form towards an Ubers. And Taco stepping up as well. Dropping Woody. There's the opening kill. I think we're on the last legs here, Dean. Yeah, looks like the third map is gonna be potentially necessary, although we'll give them a moment because Cold Zero. But I was gonna say be overwhelmed here with a bit of presence being shown on mid. Never mind, gets smoked off, decides to just spam before it goes ahead and blooms and mows down two players. Suddenly Luca and VSM are all that remain. Make that just Luca at this point, as things have completely fallen apart. It's gonna be a third map indeed necessary, which is a bit of a Silverette is waiting up close here on this B bomb site. It's a stacked bomb site right now for Flux. So will they be able to hold it off though? Is the question called Zuri? He was a monster back on the previous map and well a solid start here with that entry initially kicking things off, but they slow things down pretty massively. Only now managing to return again on Luca to actually take control of the bomb site itself. And Woody caught in the back lines. VSM on a flank of his own though. True Cave alongside History have managed to somehow still keep this round within reach for Flux. So as the bomb gets dropped somewhat in the open. This is rough. This really is rough. Look at the health with the Dilberettas. 
Oh, what a shot from Dumao as well. History. Yes, he has HP to work with, but it's a one versus three which he has to convert. Back spot of the first. Information gained. They don't know where he's set up or coming from. There's the first. Looking for more as well. Damn, he's dealt on towards Dumao as well. It's doable. The post plant starts to space out. And now what does he do? Now how does he set things up there? A smoke. Found and potentially a full stick to be found here. Does have information on both. What does he do? How does he make this work in his favor? Tap on towards the bomb. Try to bait and engage and find the first of a Dumao. A fadeaway shot with the glove. Taking these fights and, and winning them out. I mean, the opening kill rate. Seem perfect. Could be changed there. Woody sitting up close and personal. The MP9 for blind. Labored spray will get one. VSM coming for support. It's actually VSM who finds both. But latter will double down as he answers right back. Yeah, looks like it's going to quiet down in the three on three. Kildy keeping them at bay for the moment. I was going to say given some potential maybe for the bomb plant, but NQZ with the bomb was the one peeking in towards the temple instead. It's just falling apart. Lato, shut down coming out of main. There's a smoke down stopping Taco from even joining the rest of them there was. And well, as he finally emerges now, he is going to have a bit of trouble, I was going to say, against the three of them. put up a strong performance here on towards that T side on a map which is generally revered. More heavily weighted over towards the CT. This could be messy. That's a great start. Taco. Lovely entry towards mid. What do you fall? And already, great start. And now that's kind of forcing Flux to reposition. They need to take an early fight just to regain some control here. Not good. Not easy. And Duma and Lato, a combination ready and rearing. I say once again, double man advantage. This is wonderful T side work from Double Nation. Yeah, and this. Push now coming in. I was gonna say it has history and Phelps to defend. Phelps though was caught by Cold Zero out of position somewhat. At least traded by history, but in the meantime, that's allowed for this deep push in through A. And despite the low health attack, I was gonna say there's no way VSM expects it. Cut off guard. History now left all alone. And well, he might get the trade here on this one. Thankfully, he does so cleanly as well. I mean, and this one on two is very winnable. I was gonna say he even had a slight read there that there possibly could have been Lato still coming in from mid. Unfortunately, didn't stick to the angle, so he won't be able to get anything done about that. At least not, not a nice to here. He has to get a kill here and then stay alive, most importantly. And he'll miss. Oh my god, that's opened up space. Duma on the jump peak as well. Now will fall. Tagged through the wall, but a quick J coming through from Lato before he dropped as well. At range, the M4 trying to do its best, but Cold's era just better in that position. Three versus three in the bomb site compromise. Fluxo have to play retake. Yeah, although Phelps has already pushed in towards the bomb site, only having enough a mass though, no utility at all, no flashes or anything to try and help with these fights. It's straight up aim duels, and that's going to be all zero zero nation. Down called zero was slightly tagged as well, I believe, in the process. As they're getting ready for what looks like it might eventually, I was going to say, be this B push, but they were at least trying to probe Donut, and unfortunately, not able to punish the aggression that eventually came through there from Fluxo. Pretty much everywhere moment from the up though to come alive oh i like the boost buffer vsm though this won't be expected oh maybe it will wait hang on oh it didn't expect the boost coming up any credit as well Fluxo, they needed to change things up things weren't looking good and nqz one of too late and i miss sure get punished it's looking very possible but i mean these final two rounds could still turn to tired and a flash in Drew Cave right there is exactly what Luca needed, apparently. Getting away with two kills. History, I was gonna say, has a solid position in the back of the B-bomb site as well to hopefully get one and stay alive, but that doesn't happen. Lato destroys him. NKZ, who's be begun to wake up a little bit over these last couple of rounds as well, begins to show off the skills that he's got on the op, and suddenly they flip an advantage back in favor of 0-0 Nation yet again. Whenever there's some hope for Fluxo, it just falls away as the round crumbles, and... Speaking oh. of Legends, Taco will get dinked down. Called Zero takes a bit of damage as well. Actually, for the first time, not a bad start, but Lato, great opener. My God, the last two maps, it has been a Lato and Dumao show. Last bullet, Fukosi. But it'll cost him his life on the reload. Called Zero, quick trade. Numbers back in favor of Zero Zero Nation. Things looking okay. And a left eye peak will cost history his life. I can't lie. This one looking done. The rotations come to join with VSM and Woody. Space to work with. Time on the clock is ticking, but the numbers brought back to a doable affair. Don't pull out the knife now. 
And throws it back in towards danger. And Messi spray. Quick trade coming through. One versus two. And it's all down to VSM now. He needs a... Well, a brilliant clutch to come through. A damage being dealt into Cold Zero. It's a possibility. Cold Zero will post up, park up. On the swing. A Messi spray. And he'll see it off at the half. Like yeah, I mean, that was a ridiculous first half. Full utility on Lato. A strange buy for Zero Zero Nation. It might... Difficult, but... Well, it doesn't seem to be deterring them too much initially. That molly especially helped out massively. Look how much damage it dealt out. Despite this being a 4 on 4, 0, zero Nation, I was gonna say, are in a pretty firm position. Although Phelps getting a kill has very quickly shut me up. There's an interesting boost in on the bomb site here as well. The retake might actually be pretty difficult now. They've held two of these players off. Back out through K of Doom only now. Coming back with the dual Barettas. Manages to trade out his teammate. Taking two of them to the grave. And Cold Zero keeping one busy as well. I was going to say gives a shot maybe even for the bomb to be stuck. Unfortunately without the kit though. He can't quite stay on it instead. This would be a time for one to step up. Woody unfortunately only with a Tech 9. Gets overwhelmed down that B ramp. Did have a bit of support from those rifles, though, in the end, coming back through from mid. So they get a couple of trades at the very least, but the advantage still sits with 0, zero Nation. The only problem, I would say, is there's absolutely zero utility for any of them to work with. Lato's back exposed as well. Caught off guard over on B and MP9 again in the back being spotted, I believe, as History's going to hunt down Taco. This is a chance for Fluxo to take control of this round, and that's exactly what they've done. It's all on cold zero. Scary thing to say at points, though. Got to roll back the ears. Unable to do so. Luke owes you the right ears. Let's see oh. no avail. And history will spot the cross. Luca popping out a smoke. Manages to take out Doom now. And the op of history as well. Opening things up just gives them this bombsite pretty much. NQZ is actually forced to push forward. So doesn't quite give it up. Although he's not going to be able to say anything about the bomb plant itself. I was going to say... He does shut down the opportunity. He's going down. It's weird how that works against him. They also do need it, though, to push in for the retake, of course. So it is an e a necessary evil, I suppose, at this point. The problem being there was a little bit of a gap, I believe, even in the edge of it. Taco didn't want to bother with it anymore once his teammates started getting caught by the cross. So, yeah, an eighth round put on the board for Fluxo. It's a closer one for sure, but the economy is already so ridiculous for Fluxo that it doesn't matter if yeah, they're any on a full buy. This could be a little bit better. It's not a great start, though. NQZ... He's struggling to have as much impact as he would hope for. And that's not a bad... Uh, well, that is a bad start, may I say. One more four, though. And a double, in fact, from Dumao. He's got him behind. And it's space created. Now we can abuse his smoke to get further in towards his fight. And in and around that Molotov as well. VSM. Will he understand that he could be close and personal? Or in the flash. Taking a peek. And a spam through the wood. Dumao fall away. Yeah, might not fully back away, though. I was going to say, the timing here as Phelps pops in is horrible for him. Cut off guard and taken down. The B-bomb site itself is going to be taken over as the bomb gets... Yeah, looking like a change-up from Fluxo as well. They actually just want to group early towards a man, leaving Luca here in a bit of a troublesome position, but he's actually coming out with at least a kill. Not too bad. Shutting down that B-push. In the meantime, that a, a aggression rather finally coming out of main as well. Called Zero, one for one is... I suppose, given NQZ, I was going to say a decent chance, but as he gets smoked off and forced back in towards Donut, the bomb will be planted, and well, Fluxo now, I was going to say, have a comfortable enough 3-on-3 three three for the afterplant, although that spam doing solid enough damage is certainly going to make things a little bit more difficult. Are you aware Phelps is still lurking around mid, though? I don't think so. Twelve all looming. He's something special. History of the ideas. Up close to personal. What a shot as well. What a reaction. Only in. Clear the close side and allow them to focus where the actual players are. At the very least, it's a crossfire in these pistols. And, well, the 5.7's actually finding quite a bit of success. NQZ. Oh, the dink on towards history as well. Can't get the finish, though. But he's given his teammates some real hope here. This looks like one of the best opportunities that Zero Zero Nation have had to win a round so far. And, well, somehow they're making it work. It's a three on one. First time, first time that we've actually seen success. They boost up though, this could get messy. NQZ holding. Flash coming over as well, tackle swing off the back of it. Spawning doubles, but he can't find a kill on either of them. Lato holding on the spray, but he can't quite make it a second for himself. VSM, two kills to open things up, and it's all down to one man. Cole Zera, the legend. An AWP in hands, and of course, 
Nowhere to be seen. Over towards the late side. It's a save call. And Fluxo claw the game oh, back. Boost in play. It's a good idea. The time and not panning out initially. Although if he swings now, he might be able to line up two of them. It's only the one he finds on four. Second, the boost in play. NQZ at least recovering the M4. But they've also got a flank now coming in from behind. Although the timing might not work out for Phelps. Yeah, never mind. He's here at the steps. This should be pretty much a free kill. Taco has no idea. They can just wrap this back around towards A as well. Sure, Cold Zero is still here with a Deagle, and he certainly has the capability to go ahead and just absolutely dominate this round. It's As you said, it's going to need him to roll the years back. And he's not able to get the drop on Luca. No more two-body shots. It's been a while since the, the nerf of the Deagle, of course. Yeah. Thankfully, thankfully, that was that was a rough time in CSGO. You just you know spam towards the chest and B. You know they're still even the cozy lurk, lurking over there. And you see easy first reposition look for another. Won't quite find a history. Great trade brings the numbers back level. As Cold Zero tuck himself over towards me and just give up that donut control. Twenty five seconds though. They got to go now. Heavily committed to this angle as well as gonna need to stand his ground and there you go pops off with two headshots Steals the bomb as well, which is the main thing Lucas left alone on the bomb site wondering what the hell do I do here anyway? Well, unfortunately trying to take a fight oh, I was gonna say forced to take that fight no matter what because of the mollies that were down But it works out perfectly for Lao. Oh, they line up never mind They end up actually just stepping directly into a doom. I was hoping for the trade on his teammate instead Walks into his doom. Phelps left alive on A health after getting those two entries. Trades over onto the up here. Is going to give the rifle over to a healthier teammate who uses it to good success as well. Finding Taco who well, was just hoping to find out what the hell was going on now that all his teammates were dying. And Fluxo are on track for 15. This is falling apart again for 0-0 Nation. Of course, it's just been... You know, it's such a rough showing for, for the vast majority of Zero's ability, but it's the last chance here. Otherwise, they're unfortunately going to be heading on down to the lower bracket. Cold Zero with the initial kill, at least, as the Flash doesn't quite do its job. In the meantime, though, it's a straight-up B-Rush. And Lao, what is he going to have to say about it right now? I don't think really anything as the smoke goes down. Just wants to keep the numbers. The bomb is going to be planted, and... Well, the damage traded back in onto Lato now, keeping them in a fairly equal position. But let's see, it's a tough retake. They have a bit of utility, they have a kit on towards Lato. Double flashes. It's messy. Quick trades. Easy. Three versus three. Numbers now favoring that T side, and trades do benefit them as well. If he took a pop shot there, history actually could have walked away with a bit of success. Nade coming through. Tap on towards the bomb. A lovely shot from Lato. Maybe this is still on time. Ticking. And no, it's not. 16 to 14. What a crumble from Double O Nation. How have they fallen so flat? Oh my god.